everyone we are back from the d23 expo in anaheim and so this is going to be the first of a three video series of the haul of stuff we got um while there so this one is going to be about the parks um so everything that we got in the parks we were in disneyland for one day in california adventure for one day and we went to downtown disney once or twice for dinner as well but this is essentially this one's going to be the shortest one um, just the stuff we got in the parks and we really try to stay away from buying things in the parks this time because we're going to Disney World in three weeks and a lot of the same merchandise shows up for both so very rarely do we get anything in the parks um, only if we could only find it at Disneyland and California Adventure so we'll get started um, so the first thing I got was this tank top with the bows on it and they've had these at the parks for a while, and for whatever reason, this time I was like, I must have it. Um, I was really not, um, I don't know, I wasn't into it before, and then on this trip I was like, I have to get it. So I wore this to our California Adventure Day, and I wore it with my um, Minnie Mouse bow necklace, um, which of course matches, and everybody thought it was like really great, and I got lots of compliments on that necklace, which I don't usually ever get, so that was kind of cool. The other shirt I got was this Minnie Mouse one with all of the mini heads on it, and it's super cute. It's reflective and metallic and glittery, so um, I think most of the glitter has come off now, but that's what I wore driving back from Anaheim. Um, I got both of these at this um, one of the stores on Main Street, although they have them pretty much in every store there, but that's where I got those. Um, at dinner, we had dinner at Carthay Circle, and I think that's where we got the Happily Ever After buttons. You can get these at Main Street, um, at City Hall or Town Hall, I think is what it's called. Um, or anytime, if you're staying on Disney property and you're celebrating anything, they'll give you buttons. So we've gotten several of these ones now, um, and they have like Happy Anniversary and Happy Graduation, um, Newly Engaged... They have one that just says I'm celebrating and you can write in what you're celebrating but um, since it was for our anniversary we got the happily ever after ones which are really cute because they have the Cinderella coach on them and the castle in the background although I think it's funny that it says and this one says Disneyland on it the only other ones we've ever gotten say Walt Disney World on it but I think it's funny that it's Disneyland and it's Cinderella Castle and it should be Sleeping Beauty Castle but that's just me. Um, we didn't get a lot of vinyls this time because really there aren't that many and they don't do trading in the parks anymore, but they had, um, the park series for, for Disneyland slash California Adventure. And out of the whole series, I was like, okay, I want all of them except for Oogie Boogie. And of course I get Oogie Boogie with his Christmas hat on. So, yep. So I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Um, Probably just hold on. I, I'm i either going to give them to a friend or um, trade them at the parks in September or maybe I'll just hold on to them. But yeah, I was really like really out of all of them. This is the one I got. The total one I did not want to get. Um, I'll talk about two more things and then move on to Starbucks. So um, in Disney World at a couple places you can now get the kitchen sink. So Nate got this at the um, ice cream shop on Hollywood Boulevard in California Adventure. So they fill it with, we got the Oswald one, so it was two scoops of ice cream, frozen bananas with chocolate, whipped cream, cherries, all of that stuff. But the sink, it's so cute. Um, we've been storing pinbacks in them because we got, we realized we didn't bring any pinbacks with us, and I'll talk about that in our pin video, but... Realized we didn't have any pinbacks, so we ended up having to buy some, which we've never had to do before, and we've been keeping them all in this. But this was a super cute souvenir we got. Um, oh, I will say that about the buttons, about these, they're free. Um, so anytime you're at Disneyland or Walt Disney World and you're celebrating something, go ask for a button, um, especially for your birthday and things like that. That usually, um, we're always sad when we don't have a button. So... There's that. So then the other thing, um, at our night at Disneyland, we got the Fantasmic Dinner Package and we ate at Blue Bayou for dinner, which I'll talk about in another video. But as part of that package now, they give you the little seat um, cushion things. So we were really, really glad that we had these because we ended up sitting 
we watched Fantasmic and then watched the fireworks from the same, exact same spot. So these really did come in handy. They're just like the foam cushiony stuff. Um, but I'm really glad that we got them and I was joking that we should bring them with us to um, Disney World for Fantasmic down there. Although they actually have arena seating there. Um, but then also when we watched World of Color and you have to stand the whole time. So I don't know. I thought they were cool and they'll definitely come in handy in the future. So then the last things that we got in the parks. Um, so Starbucks, as you all know, I'm completely addicted. And now that I'm off of my 60-day water challenge, the first thing I got was hot chocolate on our way out. So um, when we were in Vegas, we stayed at Treasure Island, which is a whole other review video. But um, there was now a Starbucks right outside Treasure Island, right off the strip. And so we were walking back from, um, not dinner, uh, we'd gotten pastry, like we'd gone down to Paris and ate in the patisserie and we're walking back. So the Starbucks there had the Las Vegas mugs, which look like that. Um, so this was the first souvenir of the trip. Um, I love these mugs, even though I don't really use mugs very often, but, um, I think they're super cute. And so this one, let's see if I can get it over there. So yeah, welcome to Las Vegas. Yep. So that was the first one, knowing that when we went to Disneyland, I was going to get the Disneyland mug. So here's the Disneyland one with the castle and small world and the train and the fireworks. And then, of course, the other one, California Adventure. And it has Carthay Circle on it. And all of that. So I'm looking to see how much the Vegas one was. I have no idea. There's no price tag on it. Um, so the two Disney ones, the two Disneyland ones were $14.95. Um, and I got them at both the Starbucks locations because that's the only place you can get them. You can't, they didn't have them at the Starbucks in downtown Disney, but I think they sell out more quickly there just because you don't have to have a park pass to get to those ones. Um, they did still have just the generic California and um, Orange County ones there. So then along with the mugs, with the 60th anniversary and everything being in diamond shape, which Argyle is like my favorite pattern ever, um, I had to get the 60th anniversary tumbler, which looked like that. Um, it has logo on the back. So this one was $19.95, and I'm so excited to use this tomorrow. I'm really hoping to stop by Starbucks tomorrow and get um, tea or something for this and see what they say about it, because um, we obviously don't get a lot of these in Colorado, but I thought it was super cute. I got this when I got the Disneyland mug, so the Starbucks on Main Street in Disneyland. And yeah, so that's everything that we got in the parks. Like I said, there wasn't a whole lot of park stuff just because we knew we were going to be going in three weeks and we really wanted to save our money for the expo. So <clears throat> that will be another video coming of what we bought at the expo and then another video of just the pins that we got in the parks at the expo at downtown Disney. Um, all of that. So stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.